And here we go. Got the Titanite 3400R under the hood. Here's the number. That's the uh, PWR5S34R. Um, if you don't know, R stands for reverse. The positive's over here instead of over here because I got it on the opposite side uh, from the stock battery. But uh, got it wired in. Everything's zip tip, uh, zip taped, um, zip tied down. It's not exactly neat, but it's functionable. Um, everything's zip tied way out of the way of the pulleys. Um, ground the paint off of here because he's got little tabs. So I ground all the paint off there with the powder coat, threw a ground on there for it. Uh, got this lug off, I don't know, Evil Bay or fucking the jungle side or some shit. Um, so I could run multiple on the back of that. There wasn't a whole lot of thread, kind of like now. But that's secure. Got one. Can't really see. Got one on this side. And got one on the other side. I'll tell you what, these LED lights up under here. Man, those motherfuckers are handy as shit. But um, while I was checking all this, I looked down and one of these motherfuckers popped out. And I was like, what the shit? So uh, it was a little short, so I'm running a new wire, putting uh, Tech Flex, which I, shit's a pain in my ass, running Tech Flex and shit on it. Then I looked down and another one's fucking popped out, about ready to burn the rig down. And I'm like, what the fuck? We're going to come to find out. Let's see, do I still have them over here? Yeah, I know, my garage is trashed. Well, let's see, here we go. They slid right the fuck out of the wire ferrule. I guess I didn't have it cramped down tight enough. So, uh, I don't know. I just uh, took the wire ferrule off, and here we go. I just cramped it straight down to the wire, went back through, made sure everything was fucking tight. <coughs> That is one thing you want to do when you got a big base rig is uh, you want to go through and tighten shit down because this is a uh, this isn't a lug style. This is actually a, I don't know like a crimp style like these right here. So it's good to periodically go through and tighten nuts and bolts, especially on shit that could fall off and catch fire and burn your shit down. But I got this nice and snug and got the wires on there good and snug and good and chip and fucking vapor lock and fucking got the rubber over here just for a little extra protection this is kind of close to the hood doesn't look the best but safety over everything so yeah not too bad i gotta charge this up beforehand got this to like 13 2 or 13 4 or whatever it needs to be at I haven't got it locked down. I had me an extra little, well, you can't see it, screw hold down for the battery. Um, in case you're wondering, uh, three alternators. Um, I run one daily. Two are externally regulated. The blue box is under there. Fits real good under there. And I have yet to run, where in the fuck's this at? Uh, this in the cabin yet I don't a lot I guess a lot of people don't actually run into the cabin but um, I need to put tuck that up out of the way last thing I want for that to jump up to 20 volts and fry shit but like I said I only run two or one daily I run all three when I'm demoing so fuse block I was thinking about throwing my other I got a red rum fuse block like that Slayer block uh, I was thinking about throwing it over here somewhere. Uh, I might if I run any more runs off this. I don't know if I'm going to be putting any amps on this passenger side or not. Uh, back. But yeah. Everything is pretty secure and tight out of the way. So it should be good to go. So the little fair's in town. So I think I'm going to wrap this up and get with the wife and go watch a buddy perform tonight at the fair so take her easy
If she's easy, take her twice, send her my way. Later.